Greetings, world travelers. travelers. So today we are back in Epcot again. Yes. And apparently it's going to be a good day because um, the Epcot refurbishment is complete. Yes. And this is going to be my first time kind of seeing everything in the center right here. And, and not well right here, but behind Spaceship Earth. But this is our first time seeing Communicore Hall, which yeah. just opened yeah, Hall the just beginning opened. of this week. So this is going to be exciting. Yeah, for me, I, I I've already seen the um the the Garden at World celebration. I think basically a few months ago. Yeah, it, it definitely looked really good. But for him, this is his first time checking it out. And also, we're gonna check something else out because it recently opened um, earlier this year. Is it the Moana? It's definitely Moana. Journey, journey, journey into Moana. Yeah, we have we have not experienced Moana yet. This is gonna be exciting. It's gonna be exciting. So, so let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. And of course, the first stop for today is taking a ride on Spaceship Earth. As usual, it is a classic, and that's why we always do it. During your slow moving journey, your time machine will slowly rotate backward and may stop momentarily. believe your future is just about ready. Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. Ah, finally. Curing your future, staying healthy is as easy as getting out of bed in the morning. You can get daily health checkups just by taking a smart pill with your vitamins. After scanning your body with light waves, it sends the info to your doctor to let her know things are a-okay. And now you're ready to start your healthy day. While you're getting the exercise that you love, sensors in your clothing will keep track of your vital signs, making sure you get the ultimate workout. And sensors will even relay your health info to a smart menu, which guides you to healthy food sources customized to your taste. You'll live a longer and healthier life, so celebrate. All right, now we made it out of the spaceship earth and we're in the world celebration garden. And at least for you guys, this is your first time getting a look at this on the vlog. Uh, apparently, Alexander uh, made it over to Dreamer's Point. He's taking the picture of Walt Disney right now. Yeah, I think this is one of the best parts of the whole garden itself. It's just to have 
Walt Disney sitting here dreaming about Epcot as he did all those years ago is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> On across the way, this is a new experience to the garden that they just opened. It is Communicore Hall. I think the name, it kind of harkens back to the old days of Epcot because they did have Communicore before, um, before Interventions. And I do miss Interventions so much, but you know, Communicore is classic Epcot to most people. Over here in Communicore Hall, they, I believe they do have a new Mickey and Friends meet and greet. And then they have this little stage way over here I might point out the wrong area but anyways that little stage is actually for an Encanto show and I think they they had previews of it earlier this week by the time I'm filming this and it looked it looks looked pretty really interesting really though cool, yeah this, you, this yeah. just opened a couple of days yeah. ago yeah it opened on the 10th and today yeah on the 10th yeah today's the 13th no today's the 12th yeah it's the 12th yeah on oh, this little area is brand new as well. It's called Forces of Nature. It's actually a little acrobatic show that they recently added the World Celebration. And that's kind of interesting too because I think the area around World Celebration, it definitely needed some entertainment. So this is a little something extra as well, especially with, also with the um, new Encanto show that they added to Communicore Hall. That was interesting. Some of, some of the some of the acrobatics on um, here's Communicore Hall itself. Oh, uh, now we see that the building is finished. The, does it look good? What? Does it look good? Oh, it looks fantastic. It looks, it looks, oh my god. You know, I can't wait to see what this looks like at night because I think they have lights on there. And that that's gonna be something. So now we're walking through this little area of Communicore Hall. It's actually a nice little resting area too. In fact, it's it's a nice resting area because it's so cool. Because today it is so hot, and we've been sweating so much ever since we got here. And so now we're walking into World Nature, and it's finally time to go through the experience that we've been waiting to do for so long. Let's go into Moana. You ready for Moana? Let's go into Moana. All right, we have made it to Journey of Water, inspired by Moana. Oh, now I'm already seeing the water flowing. I'm already so excited. Oh my god, this looks amazing, folks. Wow. Yeah, do it, do it. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, let me get it. Let me see if I can do something. All right, here we go. Well, now we're coming to another interactive feature. We can actually make the water go all over the place. I think this is going to be pretty cool. It's interesting. They had these cool little boards here to tell you how the whole water cycle works. Oh, wait, did I? What happened? Oh, wait, let me see. Oh, I see some. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Well, do it again. Whoa. All right, let me see if I can do something. That's so cool. That is cool. <laughs> also, a little interesting fact, carved into the rock work, you can see a few Easter eggs in, in, the, in the attraction. So right there, you can see Maui with his hook. Right, so now we're approaching the wetlands. Interesting, you can take two paths here. You can take a dry pass, and then you can take a wet pass. But obviously, we're going to go to the wet pass here. Oh, this might be one of my favorite parts of the attraction that you can make the water as high as you can with, with your hand Here, let's see if you can do it oh wait, there it goes already <laughs> what 
<laughs> Wait, how was that? that? Cool. Oh my god. Yeah, let me get this. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we're about to go through this water tunnel. I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. Oh wow! Yeah, go go go. You you ran. You ran. You're supposed to walk. Yeah, you're supposed to walk, not run. I wanted to get wet anyway, so. Man, that water tunnel was so cool. And right now, I think we came to one of the main centerpieces of the attraction is that we have a giant tafiti right here front and center. And you know, a little fact is that throughout this whole area, wherever you see the water, it's always flowing from one section to the other. It's always it's always going in a cycle. And that's, that's why they've been presenting certain little facts about the water cycle. So you know that the water is always flowing. Uh, now we came to the main area where the water features really kick it up a notch. As a matter of fact, there's so much water going through. I'm trying, I'm trying to protect the camera as much as I can. Oh my god, this is nuts. Alright, here, let's try to make a wave. Yeah, yeah. yeah this requires a, a lot. This requires a group of people to make a big wave, though. But it's pretty interesting. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's try it again. Alright, one, two, two three. three. Oh, yeah, we got something there. That's we gotta get more people. Yeah. We gotta get more people yeah. to do it. It requires what? Wait, wait. Kind of. <laughs> All right. One, yeah. two, two, three. three. <laughs> We're not big enough that's cool. Here's one little area where we can send the water back up into the air. All right, so we gotta step on this little marker here and then just send the water back up into the sky. So let's see if we can do something. Ah, right, there we go. Oh man, the water is literally going crazy. Oh, as a matter of fact, I just noticed my magic fan was vibrating, so it's kind of interacting with the air, with the area. Oh, well, that. Now this is like if the jumpy fountains at the Imagination Pavilion are really trying to attack us. Oh, there's a little kids area over there. So what did you think? That was so fun. <laughs> I think that attraction was pretty That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> a real That's nice good way to cool off. Yeah, definitely a good way to cool off though. Because it was hot out here. Yeah. But I think this is another welcome addition to Epcot for sure. Definitely. Definitely. It's so great to see all the new stuff that's here. So this is one of my this is actually my favorite park here. So at least, um, at least it brings some interactivity to the, more interactivity to the park. Yeah, it's like something here, you know, for everybody now here. So Definitely. especially some type of water attraction where you can kind of like cool off or something like that. So it. Definitely, yeah. it's, it's, it's amazing. Well, yeah. Epcot definitely needed something with a lot more water. Yeah, it definitely sure. did. <laughs> Especially for the hot days. Yes, definitely. Right, now we're walking into the World Showcase. You might notice in the lagoon they have um, a new show set up. Now, the previous show that they had, um, well, one of the previous shows that they had was Harmonious here. But that's already gone because um, the 50th, 50th anniversary celebration was over by, um, I think, 2022. And then at 2023, I think they added in Epcot Forever. Now, in one of my past videos um, that I recorded, um, and it's yet to be uploaded, we tried to catch Epcot Forever, but we missed it. And now, the new show that's occupying here is Luminous. Now, I hope we will... Um, catch luminous tonight depending on um, how much time we're gonna spend here but 
I heard it's a good show, so we'll have to wait and see. Now I think we're gonna go into a character meet and greet. And as you can probably tell, that is Asha from Wish. I think my opinion on Wish is that I think it's a pretty good movie. It's not perfect by any means, but I think it's I think it's really fun to watch. I absolutely love the songs in the movie. So I can't wait to meet Asha though. Strawberry? Ooh, strawberry. <laughs> you should have fresh strawberries in the garden. Thank you. And do you think maybe we can have the chickens do a musical number in your honor? That would be fun. Oh, how exciting. I just know they're going to love the both of you. Please Same please me. Come on over, Dreamer. There you go. Oh, me and Asha was so much fun. I told her that um, my wish was to actually meet her and she told me that I'm glad that it came true for you So I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Like I said the movie it is fun to watch I, Again, it's probably not perfect um, When you look at it, but still it's a lot of fun to watch I and again the songs I think the songs are really really good. I think What was it? This is the things I get. I think that's probably one of my favorites. You should probably watch wish whenever you get the chance. All right, we made it into the land and sorry I didn't record um, us walking up there because I was getting exhausted. It's kind of cool in here though. But anyways, we did get our food. And of course I got the cheese pizza spring roll, which I heard is really, really delicious. I had the pepperoni, I think a couple times, but I need to try the cheese though. And Alexander, he's already eaten. Just a little something to get away from that heat. I need, need, we need some time to um, refresh and refill as well. So this, this is definitely it for me. Oh man, we just finished eating and that was delicious. Whew. How was yours? It was too good. <laughs> it was really, really good. So you ready to move on? Let's go. All right, let's do it. Now I think we're gonna do a little bit of living with the land. And then we'll see what we'll do after that. Alexander just informed me that some people have heard that the rainforest scene is new. And apparently it is true because it, it looks like the lighting has gotten a lot better. In past visits, it, it seemed a lot dimmer. So, like we couldn't see anything, especially with the um, with the waterfall. But everything looks good. Cacao, coffee, and rice are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. You see from Kisoo and Gorgon, tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. In these crops using our nutrient film system, this technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods.
That saves water and increases production. Higher yielding and better quality plants. Only then will we truly be living with the land. Apparently, as we came out of the land, we noticed that they started playing some of the old, early Epcot music. This is actually the old music of the land pavilion back in the 80s. It's pretty strange that they reinstalled some of the music here, but even though Epcot now, it's sort of a mix between the old and the new. It's still a warm welcome to have. As someone who's, who didn't grow up with the old Epcot in the 80s, I'm, I'm, a, 90s, um, I'm a 90s kid, though. But still, to have a piece of classic Epcot in the parks is pretty great. Okay, so now we're heading over to World Discovery because there's an attraction that we really need to ride because apparently it stays, well, they have already been numbered, but the days are slowly counting down. So we gotta get over there fast. All right, we made it into World Discovery and off in the distance, we can see the attraction that we're about to head to. And by the time I'm making this vlog, they recently announced that this version of Test Track, which we call it Test Track 2.0, this will be closing down later this month, I think on the 17th. And then pretty soon it will make way for a new experience. It will still be Test Track though, but the theming is definitely gonna change. I heard that they are gonna retheme it so that it will harken back to um, the old World of Motion attraction because apparently World of Motion used to be here back in the 80s. But then the original test track took her over in um, um, the late 90s. And then recently, um, during the 2010s, test track presented by Chevrolet um, took it over. And now here we are on its final year. And hopefully this will be our final ride on this version ever. So let's head on inside. already in the queue for one last time. I can't believe that pretty soon all of this will be gone. It's going to be a heart loss, but I'm I'm pretty excited for it, the new version that's going to open up. And as someone who didn't write World of Motion, I really want to know how it feels though. How do you feel about this now? Not ready for it. You're not ready you're not ready to let this go. No. <laughs> Well, let's just let's make the most of it while we're here. Yes. All right, we're about to reach the design studio, and we're about to make our last Chevrolet custom concept vehicle ever. Get that, that, yeah. That's what we'll go with that. Too wide. Um. It's going to be painted blue as we celebrate the last ride, so this will be a heartfelt tribute to this version of Test Track. Yeah. All right, that is our last custom content vehicle. We try to keep it simple though. But. Yeah. All right, we are approaching the sim track for one last time. I already feel the anticipation, but also the sadness. Because again, this will be the last time we'll ride this version. All right, we're in the sim car. Let's do one last test. Automated driving technology activated. Welcome to the sim track. Here we go, one last time. We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface.
Let's see how your designs hold up. Commencing SimCar off-road and extreme weather sequence. Can I have a good first round? Okay. Let's see how your Okay. Responsiveness test. There's going to be a part where it looks like, oh, okay. it's going to be hitting the Responsiveness data is now being synchronized. Automated yeah. driving technology verified and active. Yeah. Okay. 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 Displaying power test results. Oh, Kinda like I drive every day. Let's go. Okay, that's our final score. All right. Yeah, not too bad. Yep. Now we're just kind of taking it in. I know. And that does it for Test Track. That was the last ride ever. We are going to miss this version, but hopefully the new version will be better. So goodbye, Test Track 2.0. Man, it's kind of hard to tell, but it is pouring. Well, not pouring that much, but it's pouring rain. At least, at least, I mean, at least the weather is starting to die down a bit because it was hot the moment we got here of course we can get a better view of the the um what was the show again Lum of the luminous barges yeah i know many people had their opinions on the harmonious barges i thought um at least when at least when they first rolled around i thought they were pretty cool yeah i kind of I noticed the um things people were talking about but it didn't bother me that much i still i still liked harmonious i'm you know i'm sad it's gone and again i'm really disappointed that we didn't get to see epcot forever hopefully we'll see luminous sometime tonight if we, if well i would say if the weather permitting um doesn't affect it too much We made it into the American Adventure, and now we're eating probably one of the best streets in Disney parks, the funnel cake. Delish. Absolutely. All right, so we're taking a quick breather in Communicore Hall. Like I said, we needed to come back in this area because it's still blazing hot out there and our batteries are almost dead. So we're gonna take a few minutes and then we'll be on our way again. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video here so I can give my review on Communicore Hall. Now, I've been hearing a lot of talk from other people online about how lacking the place actually is. And honestly, I gotta agree with them. Most of whatever Disney promised in the concept art a while back obviously didn't translate very well in development. This was supposed to be a sensational and probably a kinetic environment, but in reality, everything just looks so bland and nothing seems to grab your attention. Or what some fans would say, this feels like an abandoned mall you can find almost anywhere. While on one hand, like I said earlier, it is a good place to get away from the heat on those hot days, and it definitely worked to our advantage during that time. But on the other hand, there's really not much to do inside to grab your attention other than Celebration Encanto right outside. Plus, this is supposed to be a place that houses many of the Epcot Festival offerings. In fact, by the time I'm editing this vlog, 
We're roughly three months into the Food and Wine Festival, and Communicore Hall has recently been filled with special and perhaps limited merch. So while at least they tried to bring a little extra into the building, it still doesn't feel good enough for park guests to enjoy it during the day. Overall, this seems to be a big letdown. I'm not saying I'm 100% disappointed, but I think this came down to a lot of cuss cutting and Disney pretty much had to work with what they got. Although, I do believe there could be some improvements they can do in the future. Like for future festivals, they could include some interesting artwork, maybe some kinetic displays, and perhaps some small entertainment offerings to keep guests inside a little bit longer. But at the end of the day, we'll try to sell with what we have for right now. If you visited Communicore Hall recently, what do you think about it, and how would you improve it? Let me know in the comments below, and now let's return to the vlog. Alright, so we're walking all the way back to World Discovery again, because I think the Nova Corps and the Guardians had called us for another mission. So we're going to head over there right now and see what's going on. Alright, we are back at the Wonders of Xandar. I have missed coming here after so, so many months. As you have seen, your world and ours were born at the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe were it not for the cosmic generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds. Welcome people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. Woo! Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrence. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. Stand by for teleportation.
nothing to worry about. You know, sweetie, I saw this unusually large man. Then you're likely doomed. Yes! Good luck! <laughs> We had to get Disco Inferno, that's the last one. Okay, so we got one more time again. Yeah. Okay. And we're home. Wow, that was wild. I've been trying to get Conga ever since I got September. That was unreal. I can't believe we got it. All right, so that's another mission done. Now we're walking back through the gardens. And now this is your first time getting to see the whole thing at night. Remind us of the old lights that we um, used to see at Animal Vengeance, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. I wish those were still here. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely miss those too. And it's hard to tell through the trees, but you can kind of see the lights on Communicore Hall going off. And I just must say, it definitely looks way better at night. And of course, the, at the Encanto stage, they're playing um, one of the songs from the film. All right, now it's getting dark, and we made it into the lagoon to see Luminous. I was hoping we would see it tonight, and it should be starting in a few minutes.
I think it's safe to say that Luminous was a very, very, very good show. Was it good? I think it was. Yeah. I think it was, it was a good uh, replacement. And I hate to ask. Really good job. And I hate to ask. Do you think this is better than Harmonious? Come back. You know what? I've got to see it again. I think I have to see it again. Yeah. Get feel of it, and then I can make my judgment. Yeah. But is it a worthy successor to uh, Illuminations? I, I think so. Yeah. The storyline was, um, the storyline of the show was, was pretty good. Yeah. And, um, kind of kept that togetherness that Epcot represents. Yeah. Um, so, I, 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 I think it is. Yeah. Okay, so right now, we're going to head back to our hotel room, and it's going to be a long walk all the way back to the bus, so we'll catch you guys in a little bit once we get back. All right, so we made it back to our hotel room. Um, Alexander is currently in the bathroom right now, but I figured I might as well do the sign off myself. But overall, I think our um, experience over at Epcot was pretty good, especially um, considering the fact that um, we met Asha and we did Moana. And well, I still have another thing, but one of the sad parts was um, dealing with the fact that we wrote Test Track for the last time and then um, to basically brighten up our spirit a little bit, we finally got Conga for um, Cosmic Rewind, and that that was pretty good because I um, Co Conga and September those are my two favorite songs. I did get September um, on the previous trip, but sadly I didn't record that. I ho hopefully um, I was hoping that maybe September would have been for this one, but I'm glad it was Conga because again those are my two favorites. So hopefully some other time I'll um, get September for you guys, but. And also, um, another thing that brightened up our spirit that was um, seeing Luminous for the first time. I, I, think it was, I think it was a pretty good show. It, it's, um, I think it's almost on par with um, Illuminations, and I think it's probably, that it's a little bit better than, um, what's, the, what's the name of the show? Har Harmonious. And I can't, and apparently I can't, um, compared to Epcot Forever because um, we haven't seen it. But I might check it out online. And I think that does it for the vlog. So I, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And until then, we'll see you guys next time. Have a magical day.